This is Rabbi Azriel Rosner coming to you from Ramat Beit Shemesh. Now this is going to be a little bit of a different video here, and you'll see why in a minute. You know, usually we talk about something from the Parsha, and of course, Parsha Korach has a ton to talk about. But I want to talk about something from the very end of the Parsha, where it talks about the mitzvah of Pidyon Peter Hamor, redeeming the firstborn donkey. Huh? Well, just as we have a mitzvah of Pidyon Haben, we redeem the firstborn child, and we have a, even a mitzvah of Bechor by animals, that the firstborn animals like sheep and goats and cows goes as a korban. There's another mitzvah called Pidyon Peter Hamor, redeeming the firstborn donkey, uh, where the firstborn donkey of a female donkey, obviously, has to be redeemed onto a sheep. The, there is apparently Kedusha, holiness to the firstborn donkey. And that donkey, just as with a firstborn child, is redeemed with money. The firstborn donkey is redeemed with a sheep. But, before, now this seems like a very strange mitzvah. What Kedusha could there be to a donkey? It's not even a kosher animal. But before we answer that question, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take you to Epidio Epidion Petar Chamor. That's right. Today, in Ramat Beit Shemesh, we are having the redemption of a firstborn donkey. And we're going to see some scenes from that in just a minute. Now, you saw in that video the donkey and the sheep. That baby donkey, cute little guy, is only 10 days old, and he is about to be redeemed onto a sheep. The Kedusha from the donkey will be transferred onto the sheep. Let's see them again. But just like for a Pidyon Haben, you need a Kohen, so too for a Pidyon Petar Hamor, you need a Kohen to actually do the Pidyon, to do the redemption. Let's see. Here comes Rav Simcha HaKohen Kuk, who is going to be the Kohen who is doing the Pidyon Petar Hamor, and he is the Rav HaRashi of Rehovot. Let's just hear a little bit of what they said at this Pidyon Petar Hamor. Let's get back to our original question. Why on earth do we redeem a donkey? What Kedusha, what holiness does a donkey have? Well, the truth is the word chamor, says the Maharal, comes from the same root as chomer, material, stuff, which seems funny to us, because don't we think that things that are chomer, things that are materialistic, are exactly the opposite of Kedusha? Well, it turns out that that's exactly not the case, because we know that there is Kedusha in materialism too. There's Kedusha in the physical world. The physical world can be used for a holy purpose, and donkeys really are a symbol of that. We see, for example, all over Tanakh that many of the great leaders ride on donkeys, such as Moshe Rabbeinu when he's traveling to Mitzrayim to help save Bnei Yisrael, and Melech HaMashiach rides on a donkey. So therefore we see the idea that a donkey is a vehicle for Kedusha. A, the physical world can help us bring Kedusha into our lives is something that comes up in terms of that symbol of a donkey as well. And therefore, perhaps, this mitzvah of Pidyon Petar Hamor is coming to teach us exactly that. It's coming to teach us that we, the material world, has tremendous religious and spiritual value if we use it in the proper way. And that even the firstborn donkey, which we would have thought is just a donkey, it's not a korban, we can't even eat it. Even so, there is Kedusha to that as well, and even that has worth and value in our lives. Have a wonderful Shabbos.